so I lived in a suite. So I mm-hmm. lived with five other girls. Um, and it was all right for the first semester. And then the second semester, one of the girls literally went bat crazy. And by that, I mean um, snorting coke um, in our bathroom, smoking cigarettes out of her room, um, walking around campus with literally any sort of alcoholic beverage mixed with any other alcoholic beverages <laughs> that she could possibly find. I mean, I literally mean like tequila, rum, um, like liqueur and beer all in one, like literally nasty, um, all of that. And then she broke into my room. Yeah, yeah, you know what time it is. It's the Milkman, and you already know. Over here at Milkman TV, we do not discriminate whether you're a freshman, saw, junior, senior, or graduate of Northern Vermont University. This is your chance to be heard. What are some of the pros and cons of NVU? Look, you already know college is a very important step, and it can be costly if you don't know what you're getting into. So up next, we got a special guest who's going to share their unfiltered experience to help you shape yours. Let's go. I'm Kate. Um, Psychology. I'm really bad. Sophomore. Um, What was the last thing? And NVU, Northern Vermont University. Um, Victoria. Uh, Junior. Uh, Exercise science and Northern Vermont University. Okay. All right, so the next question. Um, out of, from zero to 100, how would you rate, you said Northern Vermont University? How would you rate it from zero to 100? Personally, like a three. But like out overall, of oh, out of 100? Yeah, yeah. So, like a 30 so then- out of 100. Yeah, let me give you context. So zero would be avoid at all cost. A hundred would be like, yo, you would give your left arm to go back again. Okay, generally speaking, I think that it's like a solid like 50. Why is that? Why why do you say that? I think it could be like, it's good in some senses, like depending on the programs you want to go into and like the kind of person you are, like... I feel like it would be good, but like in cases like mine, I would much rather go somewhere else where like I have a more variety. I would like to be closer to like better like opportunities, I guess, if that makes sense. I would say probably like the school and 85 out of 100, but the surrounding town. A 50 out of 100. <laughs> yeah. Like, because I play softball. We both play softball. But, like, that makes my life at school a lot better, like, being in a sport. And then our, like, program for exercise science, like, we're um, accredited program at our school. So you can definitely get to, like, better schools for grad school from our school for what I'm in. So that's what's good about it. We just – it's, like, we're in – New England, like, yeah. in Vermont, so you go, you have to, like, be someone that's, like, an outdoorsy person to really like it. Yeah. So, so you guys are both on the varsity team? Yeah. And, yeah. Sorry? We're Division Three, NCAA. Okay. So what do you guys, what do you guys call people who are not athletes? Are they called muggles at your school? You say muggles? <laughs> well, I'm I'm asking. Do you do you guys have like a term for like the common folk, the common students, or no? Not really. It doesn't apply. Well, like everybody knows the athletes at our school. Um, nobody. I mean, a lot of the people at our school are athletes. Okay. Like, yeah. okay, okay. But the people that are like the weird people are like critters. <laughs> <laughs> like that's the, the that's people? the term for the weird people at our school as a critter. <laughs> okay, so for people who are gonna like, we go, we do have some people that are like, no, like to each their own. Love that, but like, if you're like a furry at our school, you're a critter. <laughs> <laughs> so for the people, oh, are they literally furry? So like, they wear the costumes. Well, and like, stuff? People, they don't wear like the whole costume, but they wear like the tail and the ears. Oh, sometimes. okay, 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 okay. Or right. like we have, like, yeah, like there's like some, yeah. <laughs> 
don't know. Got the whole leash. I've seen that before. Right through the main, like, yeah. entrance. <laughs> have, like, mesh tops on. <laughs> <laughs> I was just sitting there waiting for practice. Next thing I know, I literally see someone walking someone on a leash. Ooh. I was like, oh, Ooh. okay. Yeah, like, and that's when I wanted to transfer. <laughs> uh, so your school is very liberal then? Yes, we're liberal. <laughs> okay, liberal. okay. All right, so next question. On a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being very easy, 10 being very difficult, how difficult are your programs? So psychology and is it, um, uh, I forget what your program was. Exercise science. Exercise science. So how difficult are your programs? Uh, you go first. So uh, mine is exercise science, independent study, and physician's assistant. So I'm a pre-med student. So... <laughs> 10 <laughs> 10 out of 10 this shit is hard anatomy physiology exercise phys microbiology like i have the things that like i have to know the whole human body everything the in and outs of that so like it's hard as in like memorization i mean for mine so like i'm just getting an associates at the school um in general psychology because I'm going into a clinical psychology with a minor in forensic science. So I would also be a pre-med student and law student. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, um, I'd say my whole thing would be 10 out of 10. But I think the general psychology program there is probably a 7 out of 10. Okay. And you guys have time to do your athletics as well as study? No, but we make it work. <laughs> You're very dedicated. <laughs> okay, so, our, sorry. Our schedules are, like, designed. Like, we send our schedule to our coach, and they he finds, like, a time for us to practice in between that. But, like, you're going in, you're going to practice, like, in between, like, some classes sometimes. So. Yeah, like, last, sem like last semester, I had to um, – I had to miss the actual practice, but I would go in in that, like, after my class – and I would go do my own practice with the coach and, like, um, people who also couldn't make it. So, like, it it made it work, you know? Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, so now that you said that, that actually kind of leads into what I, what I was going to ask next. Like, how is the admin? So, the overall admin for the university as well as, like, maybe the admin for your program or, you know, for your coach, like, the athletics program as well. You could either give specifics for one or you could just give an overall for every every single one. How would you say that men is there? Are do they treat you guys like a number or are they very interested in your success? It depends. Um in my case, um sorry NVU. Um I'm leaving anyway. Um <laughs> like with the psychology program, I totally feel as if I'm just a number and not necessarily like a person to person sort of thing they do do that sometimes but like you have to fight for it almost so for like me though like my ranking was higher because of my program is like our teachers are like super successful like in their field so they want the most out of all their students so they'll like they have tutoring sessions with you they have office hours you can go in and talk to them like and my classes are like it's like kind of this small like we're an accredited program in it but not as many students like do my program because it's like the harder one of our harder ones like a lot of people at our school are like music majors and stuff so I'm like 14 kids a class like you could like you could raise your hand like talk have a conversation with the teacher for like a minute in your class and it's like it's nice um for like administration for the school, that's it's like pretty good, but they definitely like sometimes like don't answer you when you need to. <laughs> and then for like our AD, like our athletic director, he's pretty chill. He's nice. Like um, I just walk into his office sometimes and he helps me out. Like I think he's like I think our athletics and all that is really good with that. Yeah, like our coach, you could like knock on his office door and go walk in and have a conversation, like actually like a heart to heart with him if you need to. Like you could, like I know a bunch of girls on our team that went in there last year and like just cried to him <laughs> and he would be okay with it. And like our, like like I was saying, like the AD, like she just said, like, yeah, you could just walk in like our athletic director's office and talk to him about anything. He'll help you. Like if your grades are bad, like he'll email your teacher for you and be like, hey, like, can you start working with this girl? Like yeah. she needs help or 
like last year like he gave out like specific awards like to females at our school that he thought were like outstanding females and stuff so like he's very like good personable okay that's dope that's dope so let's get to the next one so what is your favorite foods in dining hall in general what's your favorite food it's hard tacos okay can make them in anything okay but like i'm not wrong yeah you're not wrong. <laughs> if we're trying it depends i'm a sweet tooth girl though i like candy okay so on the scale of one to ten one being very bad ten being very good how is the food on or around campus zero our, our food like no but we have hose nests because like oh. our school is we're hornets like our our mascot is a hornet so we have like hornet's nest which is like our little cafe like bistro thing but we call it hose and Should I ask that's why good no? like if that's good fire, like it's, 10 out of 10 like they have like tater tots that they like fry crispy in there and like they make quesadillas oh, like you can go club. in there and request anything and they'll make something for you oh yeah so that our, that part of our school is really good our hall is just like anybody's cafeteria food okay my high school is better all right and so are you both introverted extroverted or a mix in between i'm a mix um yeah yeah i'd say with my people extrovert not with my people introvert <laughs> okay so on a scale of one to ten one being difficult ten being easy like how easy is it to make new friends uh at the school honestly for me it was kind of like a 10 like because i i didn't want to associate with anybody it sounds really bad but like i went into college like just doing my thing like i didn't want to talk to people or anything and ended up making friends anyway well I, yeah i think it depends how you go into call like i think if you're an athlete it's 10 out of 10 easy to make friends oh, because yeah. you have your team like like and you guys meet on the first like we're softball players but we met on the first day and practice together all fall like you don't just meet when it's like your season yeah okay um so we're almost done just a few more uh so do you guys live on campus around campus or do you commute <laughs> so i lived on campus my first year and then i just moved off campus in my own apartment um just to be a little more affordable um yeah, I did the opposite. I lived in an apartment for my first two years because, like, they don't care if you're on or off campus. And then I am, I moved onto campus this year, but okay. commuting was, like, annoying. Okay, so on a scale of 1 to 10, um, 1 being very difficult, 10 being very easy. How easy is it to find living accommodations on or around the campus? On campus, extremely easy. 10 out of 10. Um, off campus, insanely difficult. I got so lucky. Like, and yeah. I mean, like, extremely lucky. Yeah. Because I still, like, I was trying to move in with someone else at the time, and we couldn't find anything anywhere. So they already had an apartment, and I was just going to find one that maybe I could work with anything close enough to the school. And lucked out and someone was looking for a roommate who also goes to our school so i was like cool let's do it so i i would say probably the same like 10 out of 10 on campus maybe like a 5 out of 10 off the campus i'd say way less than that <laughs> like it was kind two of two out of ten me. two okay but, and basically you knowing someone kind of helped you secure a spot right so okay um and then so the second last question is gonna be what was the most stressful situation that you've experienced? Oh, there's the tea. <laughs> um, I had, so I lived in a suite. So I lived with five other girls um, and it was all right for the first semester. And then the second semester, one of the girls literally went batshit crazy. And by that, I mean, um, snorting Coke um, in our bathroom smoking cigarettes out of her room, um, walking around campus with literally any sort of alcoholic beverage mixed with any other alcoholic beverages <laughs> that she could possibly find. I mean, I literally mean like tequila, rum, um, like liqueur and beer all in one. 
like literally nasty um all of that and then she broke into my room so so what ended up happening she got arrested or how did you overcome that situation um so i reported her i got a restraining order against her um i basically just like ratted her out for everything after she like broke into my room because at first i was like i want to like help her like i don't want to just like you know rat on her and then her being this like bad situation you know because it's not going to make anything better just telling someone at the school because they're just going to be like don't do that you know so i wanted to help her and then she broke into my room and i was like okay screw you i reported her i told them basically everything sorry if you're seeing this yeah i did rat you out um wind up uh <laughs> you're leaving anyway so what is i don't it about? even know if she's coming back <laughs> but she scares me like coke heads are like a different breed like is there a lot of them at that school huh is there a lot of coke heads at the school i don't i don't know okay Okay. so like the the area that we live in is not a great area with like like you can get it easily i could literally walk down my stairs go out on the street sit there for a couple hours and probably get some ecstasy like (laughs) (laughs) okay a couple tabs of acid like it's that easy like Okay. So, I really don't know. <laughs> so, what's one thing that you wish you knew before going to NVU? How big this school was? It's tiny. Yeah. It's like a chode. <laughs> it is. <laughs> okay, so you're, you're not getting lost on campus. No. Okay. So, what's, what's wrong with, like, a tiny campus? Um, everyone knows everyone. He uh, knows everything about everything. <laughs> yeah, you, you hear everybody's information there, that's for sure. Way more than you want to. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. Some pros and cons of NVU. Was there something we missed that you feel should have been said? If so, leave your comments below because you never know who you'll be helping. But anyways, you know it's the milkman, baby, and I'm about to bounce like an NBA basketball. But in the meantime and in between time, smash that like, tap that sub, because I'm off this. Easy, fam.